what a weekend <laughs> um uh pff, some sometimes these vlogs just don't really have any any kind of relevance or point or like specific detail i gotta be honest they are just as i've said previously one of the reasons i like doing vlogs and well, three reasons one of the reasons is it's just it's like a diary it's just the ability to unload it's just i upload that onto youtube for everybody to see <laughs> so um it's a little bit crazy i guess um but yeah what a weekend i mean it's it's no secret like it's stressful like my job, my life is is pretty stressful, but it has its amazing points as well. And I think for the first time in in a long time, I'm not not quite sure how long. I haven't felt stressed this weekend. Actually, I had a, a big wave of relief this morning, um, for not for just kind of it just almost felt like stress had gone. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, I'm kind of put that down. I think to 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 three things <laughs> obviously three things I put it down to kind of three things um i guess firstly the i've got i got all my work done this week like so i have a list every, every sunday evening so i've just i've done it already tonight but every sunday evening i, I make a list of my to-do list well, a huge to-do list pages and pages long um what i do is i have a look at what i need to do that week i have a look at what the, what the main highlights are and stuff like that and i pick normally five things and I chuck them on that list. Well, they're already on there, but I've, I've, I've categorized five things, one through to five, one being the most important, two, three, four, five, obviously. And I just try and chew through those because the thing is so many other things land on my desk through the week. Um, I don't always have the chance to, to get through them. And then, then that's why my list is so goddamn long. Um, that's the same for anybody, but I really find just taking like five things on a Sunday evening, prioritizing for the week. In theory, that's one a day. Um, and pushing through them. If I get them done quicker, brilliant. I just grab more stuff from the list and I just I bring it up. But I like to do that, so I'm prepped for a Monday. This or last week, I nailed that list. And I had to do some massive bits. I did all the Facebook advertising for the companies. And we're talking thousands and thousands of pounds of Facebook advertising um, to, to go up. To and, and it's not just spending the money. That's easy. It's, it's really drilling down where it's going to go in Facebook and looking at the analytics and researching. And I've been doing all that myself now. So... Um, and that's quite exciting. I quite enjoy that. Um, so I got all that done. So that was really good. And and I can start to see the results already. People coming through the doors. Because I guess the second thing is we were really busy at the weekend. Like hundreds and hundreds of people coming through at both sites. Really, really busy. Which is great. And the staff, this is my second thing. The staff were amazing. My team were absolutely brilliant. Lauren's team and Charlie's team were absolutely fantastic. Haven't really caught up with the Shepton guys yet. But I know it's gone pretty smoothly. But certainly Shrewsbury was was incredibly smooth. Um, they they were under pressure, but they worked really really well. So it's been really nice for me to not be around really this weekend with them, and know that they've taken care of it and and, and run it and managed it. And it's just it's just been smooth. And the managers haven't been there. Lauren wasn't at site. She's on holiday. Chrissy's not been around. I was only there Saturday, but I was acting in prison break. It was amazing, um, and that was really good. So um, uh, kudos to Gary for a great a great a great event he's built there. It was, um, it was, um, but yeah, so the staff team worked relentlessly. We had we had six tours over the weekend at Shrewsbury, six full tours, loads of self guiders. The fun out, just everyone's been brilliant. Um, so that was my second thing. So that was really really good, and I didn't need my involvement to make it work. Um, and the third thing is, we had some friends up over the weekend. Um, some friends with their three kids came up. We've known them for years. Um, We've known them long before we had children. We knew them when when they bought their house in 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 a, in um, in the Chew Valley where, where, where I'm from um, they knew us when we bought our house and we, we've, we've, we've gone through stages together you know we had our eldest kids together they were there through um, the loss of our first daughter um, our, our first children are the same age our second children are the same age our third children are the same age so so you know we have we know them well but we haven't seen them in ages um, so they came up and it was really nice just to hang out with them on on Saturday evening play poker have a few drinks um, and then it was this morning, it was Sunday morning, I got up and I, I came down and um, funny enough, I just got up and I went for a swim. Um, I know, first of all problems. Um, so I went for a swim this morning with all the kids, um, which was nice. Emma went for a swim and we got out and, and I was just putting the washing up away out of the um, dishwasher. You alright? Would you mind sticking the cat on, please? Is that right? Thank you. Um, so yeah, and, and I was unloading the dishwasher and doing the washing up and I just felt a real relief, just a complete, just, I 
I don't know how to describe it. Just, just like a release, effectively a relief. And I just felt completely unstressed, like there wasn't a problem in the world. And it was absolutely euphoric. And I was unloading the dishwasher at the time. And I turned to Emma and I was like, Do you know what? I feel so unstressed. I wouldn't say relaxed, but unstressed at this moment. I was just like, I'm really kind of happy with how things are. And that was just, it was, it was just nice. It was just, and then we've gone out, we've had a really good day today. We've gone and shared our friends in prison and um, had, had dinner and a few other bits and just put the kids to bed and just chilling now and getting ready for the, for the week ahead. Um, but yeah, it was really nice um, to just feel, like I say, unstressed. Um, I'll do a vlog tomorrow afternoon, probably completely different. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd put that up. Um, like I said, it's just me unloading on my diary basically for the, for the end of the week. Um, and I guess it just goes to show that it's just, for me, it's all about the mindset. It really is. You, you have to keep a positive mindset. It is about that continuously moving forwards, that belief. And not just saying it, because it's, it's so fucking easy to say it, but do it, live it, breathe it, be it. Like, and that's the key thing. Um, and then obviously, then I attribute everything else on the on the on the three things, which I'm go I'm going to do a vlog on this week. So I really want to get that get that across to people. I've done another couple of vlogs last week. I'll upload them, um, and it will start to make a bit more sense. But yeah, um, positive positive outlook. You know the way your mind's set. Um, like I say, you know, don't just say it, live it, breathe it, believe it, do it, take action. Um, that's that's it really for a Sunday evening. So. I'm going to watch some TV, um, some rubbish TV. Um, I'm going to do some um, responses on, on social media to, to customers. Um, and I'm going to go get some sleep. And in the morning, hit the gym, hit the pool, get to work, um, and have a great week. So, vlog out. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.